epic. It looks like a really cool den site, and in fact it is. There we go. Hey guys. Have you got yourself a little bone there, or some sort, or description? It looks like there's something on the mound itself. I want to have a quick look with my binoculars. No, it's just pieces of wood. It looked like almost like a bone, that one in front there, but it's just a piece of wood. Now, I'm not 100% sure which are the mothers here. I was talking to Ali and Taylor last night, and they were saying that they think that Scarback is the one mother, and then Ribbon's Cub is also here. So I would imagine that Intima is the one that was in the hole, and this is then one of the slightly older ones, maybe January or one of those. And I'm sure many of you out there will be able to help us with an identifier features of that particular one but that I think is in team up there it's about the right size and age and getting so so big I haven't seen this little one for a long time and it is definitely gotten a lot bigger than the last time I saw it there comes the little one as well hello good morning I love baby hyenas they're so cute So Kylie, in terms of if a mother hyena dies and you're wondering if anybody else would come in and start to allo mother that little one, as far as I know, no. I've never seen it in action. I've seen, you'll find with the hyenas that they've got quite an established, listen. The little one is whooping, <laughs> but it sounds like a squeaky toy rather than a hyena. That's so cool. Um, so with hyenas, they have a very sort of strict um, hierarchy. And so you'll find that if it's a female that's low ranking, none of those adults are going to try and raise their... It's just loving listening to this little one. So that's the little baby that was making that noise. It wasn't these two that were sniffing each other. It was the tiny little one that was calling. And you can hear how their sound will get deeper and deeper and it'll eventually sound like a proper hyena in a few months' time. But for now, it's just a little high-pitched squeak that comes out of that hole. But in terms of the mothers, you'll find that they, they're very protective of their own and they don't really share much with any of the other ones. You'll find that if they want to feed their young one, they'll chase off any other babies that are around suckling. So no, they wouldn't really look after a, another female's young one and that little one would unfortunately probably then die. But come on, little one, come on out. You can just see its head poking out at the moment. Come on, don't be shy. Look how cute it is. <laughs> so, Ryan, you're wondering if hyenas are as affectionate as lions in terms of bonding with each other? Well, maybe not quite as affectionate in that they'll sit and groom and they'll rub up on one another and really kind of spend a long time bonding. I find with hyenas they tend to do a lot of greetings. So what we saw just now where the old hyena and, and this teamer was busy sniffing one another and they sniff each other's genitals and that's just to work out who one another is. There will be a bit of playing and a bit of biting and a bit of carrying on and they'll kind of rub up on each other but it's not quite as affectionate as what you'd see with lions where they sort of head rub a lot of the time and groom each other effectively. These guys don't spend nearly as much time grooming but in terms of mother and cubs you'll find that those that bond is very strong so the mother is very affectionate towards her cubs and she'll look after them and she'll groom them and have lots of time with them so chris you say i'm right that this is january thank you chris i I wasn't 100% sure. I've been trying to learn the hyenas as much as possible, and obviously it's difficult because we haven't had a lot of time with them. But see that this hyena's got a little scar under its right eye, and then a nice big circular sort of spot pattern on its right shoulder as well. So that's kind of why I thought about it. Now, it seems like our luck is changing. We've got the hyenas at the den, and it seems like Miss McCurdy has managed to find something of her own that is rather large.